A landmark court case has dealt a serious blow to wheel clamping in WA, giving drivers the option to fight back when their cars are locked in place for parking in the wrong spot. A magistrate has described the practice as wrong, and as Elizabeth Creasy reports, the case could have wide-reaching consequences. Crispin Roveray is a trailblazer against wheel clamping. He took on the industry and won. I'm feeling fantastic. The government worker was left without his car for more than six months after it was clamped and towed from the Perth apartment complex where he lives. His mistake, he parked in Bay 101 instead of his designated spot, 72. And when he refused to pay to have the clamp removed, Perth company Auto Clamp towed his Holden Bellina away. It was a long hard road and they were very aggressive. The 35-year-old sued for what he considered the theft of his car and he got a judgment that will likely upend the entire wheel clamping industry in this state. In a landmark judgment, Magistrate O'Donnell said the clamping in Crispin's case was demonstrably wrong and the towing entirely unlawful. The magistrate was absolutely scathing on every point. Then she went further, describing wheel clamping as repugnant to a lot of people and an affront to the proper operation of law that a dispute between a landowner and motorist is hijacked by companies. If there is a case that now says wheel clamping is illegal, that can certainly be used as a precedent. Wheel clamping has generated anger across Perth suburbs in recent months, but this was the first legal case of its kind. The magistrate going all the way back to medieval English law to try to find the answers. But this case hasn't put the wheel clampers out of business. Around Perth, the signs and the threats remain. But the truth is, Autoclamp has been forced to fight two other cases in court and in one instance even agreed to settle. Sue Chapman runs Autoclamp and wasn't keen to talk when we confronted her. The Premier says it's un-Australian to clamp cars. Well, I think the Premier is un-Australian that he thinks that Australians can get away with it. Will you keep clamping cars? Of course, it's my business. Today she sent us a statement insisting the magistrate made no finding that wheel clamping is illegal. But those who campaign against wheel clamping have welcomed the decision. It erodes the legal foundation, if there is one, for the practice of wheel clamping. And lawyers say it means drivers now could have an option to fight back as the McGowan government considers banning the practice. What we will do is make sure that companies who are basically abusing their power are currently aren't allowed to in the future. Auto Clamp has now returned Crispin Roveray's car after it was ordered to by the court. Elizabeth Creasy, Nine News.